Hey there. I wanted to make a quick video about how I get frets clean. Um, I just happened to get this basin that has extremely dirty frets. They're to the point of having a little bit of rust on them and stuff. So they're really bad. Uh, I have a few different ways I attack frets. 90% um, of the time, normal frets, I just want to uh, shine them up and they're not in bad shape. I use this stuff called semi-chrome polish. A little expensive. I think a small tube of it costs nine or ten bucks on eBay, but it really works. Um, for something like this, it's this bad. Um, that'll be the second step, uh, and I'll start with something else first. Uh, it'll either be fret erasers or some kind of steel wool product. With the fret erasers, uh, you can get them in different grits. Um, I've got like a real rough one here, and I'll work my way through. I'll just show you one. Um, with this roughest one, you don't want to go pressing too heavy because it can actually make marks on the metal. It's okay to like make some small scratches, but um, you don't want to go crazy on it. And then just kind of move through um, the different ones you have, finer and finer. Now these things are real handy too, like fret protectors to protect the wood around the frets when you're doing this kind of stuff. Uh, Stumac has them. You can get them all over. Amazon, whatever. Um, so that's taken off a good amount of that top layer. Um, but it doesn't really shine it up like you can with some polish. So put a little bit of polish on a rag. And this stuff will really take off any oxidation that's on metal. And I can show that to you pretty easily here. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, so it's taken off a lot more that the fret erasers and steel wool, they're gonna take off that physical layer that uh, they'll kind of like rub off what they can, but the polish is gonna really be what shines it up. So at, as an alternative, um, I've got, let's see, this is, triple lot steel wool I can get it in there and it'll just have three zeros on it most people I think get four aught so look for one that has four zeros on the package that's just like the finest grade of steel wool you can uh, try wrapping it around a uh, magnet like I've done here I try and keep it a little bit cleaner because the main problem with steel wool is it can make a huge mess get those little metal shavings everywhere I actually that's why I was going to show this other thing I prefer this that I found which is like a 3M it's steel wool but it's uh it's steel wool sheets and um it does the same thing as steel wool but they don't fragment into little tiny pieces of metal so that works pretty good I mean for something this bad I might use all different all the different methods I have at my disposal I might start with those fret erasers then just give it a quick shot with a steel wool kind of thing. And then last but not least, uh, to shine it up and get off the metal's oxidation. Use the polish, it's still getting lots off there. Yeah, so that's some different ways you can go at your frets. And um, there's even, uh, attachments you can get for a Dremel. Uh, sometimes I'll use this when I want to go quick as possible. It's just a little cotton attachment on the end of a Dremel and you can quickly put your polish on there and then go across it with this at high speed. Um, you have to be careful because it might shoot up some of that polish so you just want to put a thin layer but that's another way to attack them. Anyway, hope that gives you some ideas. Uh, if you've got other things that you use, put them in comments down below. Let me know other ways you can go at cleaning up frets. And um, if you got something out of this, please hit the like button. Thanks a lot, guys.